Good morning, Jilly here. Coming to you with a pour on a 60 by 30 canvas. But I've got something planned that I want to do for my background and then when it's dry, I actually want to use these butterflies. Um, I might take out the black bit and use the butterflies as a stencil. You can, free, if you're really good at turd freehand drawing, obviously you can free, this is my plan anyway, is to use these butterflies as my stencil, or I could even take this bit off and um, glue them on and then resin over the whole lot, which, which, which probably would look lovely, but I'm just trying something diff, well, different for me. So I'm gonna give this a go. So I'll hopefully whisk past the boring bits of the undercoat, even though some people said, no, we like to see the whole process. Um, I'll just try and, this is just my normal white. It's a, the acrylic white mixed with my normal pouring medium. Um, so it is not house paint. I, I, do, I do get asked quite often, is that house paint you're putting on? N this isn't, no. I think the house paint is normally used for the, um, the Shelley Art bloom technique that people are mostly using the house paint for, I believe, to get the, um, the use of the latex in the paint to be more stretchy. I think it is more stretchy with house paint, I believe. So if I'm um, not right, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Um, so this is just my acrylic paint, just made up the same as all of my other paints. So I'm not going to worry too much about the very edges because I will be going over those, so it's not really a problem. I need a little bit more paint on there, I believe. I want to try and do a background before I do my colourful bits, but the background is going to be hopefully something that's um, delicate but bright. Uh, so unlike me, delicate but bright. <laughs> I might have the bright bit, but I'm certainly not delicate. I suppose everybody's delicate and vulnerable at times, but anyway. Rightio, this is, this is just a test actually. If this doesn't go correct, I will just push on. This is um, the Global Fluoro Pink in Pasto. So I have only mixed this with nothing else but the... Um, flow trough. So I'm just going to see if I can get anything cells out of this like I would the Amsterdam paint with flow trough. So I'm just going to, all it's going to be is this fluoro pink for a swipe to begin with and then we'll work on from there. We'll just see. See, see, see. Right here. See what I can get with that. I get nice clean, <laughs> if you can find one, a nice clean, um, this is a soft plastic file divider, so here we go, just try, might not do anything, but just going to give it a try, it was just a thought to give a little bit of a different background, so definitely hasn't celled up like if that was Amsterdam paint, for whatever reason, there's something in the Amsterdam paint that helps with cells um, and is a really good match with um, is a really good match with Floetrol, but that's um, not happening there. But anyway, it was just a trial. Uh, I'm still going to push on just to use that for my background, the pinky pinkiness, pinky pinky. Just something bright. Everybody needs something bright. Right here, where is my white? Okay, I've got some white Amsterdam white, Amsterdam white with Floetrol in here. So let's just see if I put the Amsterdam white as my swipe over the top of the pink, whether that makes a difference. I believe it absolutely will, but we'll just see, won't we? So just drop the very tip of your soft plastic file divider. You see the difference? 
look at the lacing straight away. It doesn't seem like any other paint at this moment in time actually does that. It sells up straight away without. Um, look at that. That's amazing. That's lovely, lovely lace. I'm not going to do the other side, I'm going to leave it. Nothing has to be matchy matchy. I'm not one for that. Um, we'll just push on now with my. So I just wanted that as my background, and then I'm going to do something really nice and colourful down here. I am going to, right here, start off with. Oh, where is it? Might start off with red. So I've got a cool red and a warm. I've got a cool red and a warm red. So let's see how we go. So this is just puddles. I'm going to put puddles down here. So it's it's a, a multi technique pour in that it's. Um, Pour and swipe plus puddle pour. Puddle pour. So there's my puddles, poodles, and more poodles. This is called Pear, it's that one. It's a really nice colour too. It's almost like a lime green, but it's not, not as limey, <laughs> if that's a thing. And in the centre of that, because these two colours for whatever reason really marry nicely together if I can get it out and this one is their dark sea dark sea Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to put a little bit of this. What's it called now? It's like a, a sand yellow. I'm going to put that in each one. My poodles. Righty -o. Righty -o. I'll just give that a little bit of a tilt down that way. Just recenter it again. Righty -o. And now I will get. I think I'm just going to cut up, I'm going to just cut one of my plastic into a, uh, a smaller swiper, so no bigger than that. So I've cut it, so I've got a smaller swiper and I'm going to swipe down this way. I am going to put this is the black with a Floetrol in it. Because I've got no silicone in any of my colours, these particular ones. Ooh, it does not want to play today. Come on. Yeah. 
I did test this earlier and it came out, so what's going on? I do not know. So I'm going to put that down here. Radio. Let's see what we get. I might need to do a double swipe. Just really nice and slowly. It looks like a million gems. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at those. I'll just give it a zoom over with my heat gun. I don't think I'm going to go back the other way. Or should I try it just for for the hell of it? No, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. I would like to blow some of that area out. Maybe I could try uh, blowing it out with my little mini um, blower. I might try just just to blow the edges to soften the edges. Um, oh, I can't open my duva. Anyhow, let's see how I go with that. Oh, okay. Okay, that's doing absolutely nothing. It's not actually. Um, and let's see if I squish the end of this. I can get. Usually, when I blow with the end of these um, straws, it, it looks like fingerlings. <laughs> so I don't like it. So I need kind of this end. But anyway, give it a try. it softens the edges up. Oh, God, dizzy. <laughs> Rightio. I am going to let that dry. And, um, and then it will be stage two. So the cells have come out beautifully. They're really lovely. Uh, it's a bit of a different background. So I'm going to just let that dry off a bit. And I'll be back. So to finish off this lovely painting it's all dry now i'm just giving ideas because it's all dry it did i did do a few balloon kisses because i knew i was going to put something over there those positions so it is all dry but i just um i've got a, a request off a family member for something with butterflies in it so you could 
very well use these butterflies as stencil to draw around and draw your own butterflies in. Um, what I'm going to do with these particular butterflies in, in this one is I'm going to um, stick them onto the piece of art and then when I resin over them the butterflies will actually be underneath the um, underneath the paint so it's you don't have to put I mean she wants butterflies so I'm giving her butterflies these very big ones probably too big for this piece but I have in the past used the butterflies uh, I take it off the center off which is quite easy I don't want to ruin that one you can use the butterflies and use as a stencil around and then literally use that if you're not very good at art use that to copy so it's then hand painted in and do your black body so I mean there's lots of ideas so I've been asked for something with butterflies so that's a nice green one um, I'm going to just do a few butterflies in there not too many um, and it's just an idea you can actually yeah definitely paint your butterflies in um, like I said use it as a stencil you could do some 3d art in there all sorts so there's so many ideas that's a lovely green there that's very nice so you can put some butterflies in as many as you choose and um, yeah either just gloss it over when you're finished or if they're going to be a little bit standy up then you pour some resin over and they're in the resin but it does uh, really make the painting you know bring it to life with like a 3d effect so i've been asked to do that um and it was just my way of trying to do what was requested that something with butterflies in but one of my paws so there you go i hope that you enjoyed that and it just given you some ideas because remember i'm only here to help give you ideas not that you have to copy exactly what i do it's just giving your ideas to try and then when you get more confident you add your own twist to your artwork so i hope you like that guys um until tomorrow bye for now please take care